of a thing that you are talking about. Okay. 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 To 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 add more to your knowledge regarding yes, extermination uh, exactly. of thermites. All right. Exactly. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Yeah, Mr. DG. Thank you for taking our time out of a busy schedule to join us. I can also see some of our very senior colleague here, Daddy Odubogo. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. Uh, Mr. Jude, all the way from we can see that you are here as well, Mr. Jude. Mr. Adibin, good evening. Please, let's, we're still in the uh, mood of greetings. Uh, so we can relax the, the law of muting our microphones to just say hello, you know, just say hello to the house. I, I want one or two or three um, volunteers to, to greet and uh, to tell us what they are also uh, expecting. Do you have any other volunteer before I introduce our guests and uh, we kick starts in earnest? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Jude. Thank you. Eyes away today. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> Mrs. Adebinkwe, I guess you're trying to say something as well. Mrs. Adebinkwe, good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you today, man? Happy Sunday, man. Same to you, sir. Happy Sunday, sir. Good to have you Actually, here. Actually, my expectation today is because I remember the other day you posted the work you did that I said termites. Yes. I never heard of wood. You call it wood something. Yeah. So I'm yet just know what I do know how to treat is termites. So that's the reason I'm here. It's a new lesson for me anyway. Okay, to have, so to have an understanding about the difference between uh, woodworm and termites. <clears throat> Yes, sir. Yes, All right. sir. All right. Quite understandable. Thank you. Thank you for joining. FBGV Health, please go ahead. I can see that you raised your hand up. Good evening. Yeah. FB. Thank you very much, Ogaro Timans. I'm glad to be here. Uh, my expedition is actually similar to the last person that spoke, uh, the woodworm and the termite treatment. Um, you know, I mean to really explain myself in that regard. Um, I know that our guests will do justice to that and with your support. You know, we are going to, I'm going to learn a lot of things today. Thank you very much for organizing this. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining. Um, we're, we're, we're running out of uh, time already. And, uh, just one more person, then just one more greetings. And um... Good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. My name is Obie Jembi. All right. My question is very simple. Like uh, the last two contributors said, no knowledge is wasted. So I think in advance the the convener and then as resource person today. Thank you very much. God bless you all. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, your voice is quite, you know, the, the baritone as well of it is, you know, <laughs> I think I like the sound of that voice. Anyway, so let's get to business of tonight. Um, I want to say <coughs> thank you to everyone for, like I said, for joining. Today is Sunday and it's a day that is expected for all of us to relax because Monday is another day to start work. But, you know, there's a popular saying that the day you start stop learning is the day you die. You know, so learning never stops. Learning is continuous. Learning is forever. Um, we started a series called Inspiring Storytelling Session, uh, sometimes in year 2020. And when we started, we made mention of the fact that we want to run a series that will last for 10 episodes. Uh, to God be the glory, we've been able to run seven episodes tonight. Is the eighth episode, and uh, next week Sunday we'll be having the ninth episode by the grace of God. 
and uh, the last episode we will be concluded uh, maybe the following week as well. Uh, our guest next week is Mr. is the MD of Pest Control Nigeria, Mr. Darius. He'll be talking so much about uh, mosquito control. Then we have Professor Kemal Bonta at the last the last um, uh, episode, which is episode ten. Um, then you know, the concept behind this is to train, not just train, share knowledge, and at the same time inspire inspire those that have done so much in the business, those that are coming up and those that are here to start with the stories of the guests. So aside talking about woodworm and termites, I can assure you that Baba will be telling us a little bit about his stories. Um, his story is such a unique story. I know a little bit of it. I know just a little bit of it. I know the, the, the path that he has been retired for almost 13 years thereabouts. And uh, from all indications, the time he has spent in his in retirement has probably been the better time of his career in environmental health. I mean, he has continued to be relevant over the years outside the shores of Nigeria, you know. So um, without taking so much time, I want to uh, welcome our guest tonight. I've already told us the, the purpose of being here. That is uh, inspiring to listen to session episode eight. Uh, the session is meant to last for one hour, 30 minutes, one hour of um, discussion on the topic. Then the 30 minutes is going to be for question and answers. Um, question and answers, then um, uh, Baba is also going to quickly share the stories of how his journey into pest control started. And uh, we can pick one or two things from it. They said the success of a man is in his stories. So I, I believe strongly that uh, we will learn one or two things from what he's also going to tell us. Quick announcement, please let us mute our microphones. Um, we, we're going to be doing that from here as well. If we have anything to say today or towards the tail end of the webinar, we can raise up our hand and trust me, we're going to have uh, deliberations. All right, our guest tonight uh, is no one than Pastor Sanitarian Samuel Ayoshomoye. Most of you don't know, he's also popularly called Babai Biji. Uh, yes, <laughs> not, not, is 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 an added title by the side, but a lot of people don't know that. Um, he's a retired environmental, no, 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 sorry, 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 let me refrain. <laughs> you don't retire, you refire. Yes, he, he has been in this game for close to four decades, you know, probably far away before some of us were even born, you understand, and yeah, God has really helped him to remain consistent, to remain relevant, and he has continued to, you know, he has given, he has produced so many, in fact, uncountable children in this, when it comes to environmental health management. Um, to me, I really want to thank him for the privilege of uh, mentorship and access, support and love over the year. The first major training we had in 20, uh, 16. We've been, we've, we've, we've been having training since 2014, but the first major one at LCCI in 2016, uh, I can say that it was the uh, it was the face of the program. To be very honest, it was it was it was it was. In fact, his impact in the program was was my chances. Then I've I've been glued to him. He's a father, so not just me. To so many other people, I've said in the past. And um, West Africa environmental health curriculum when it comes to pest management today is part of the people that design it. And uh, a lot of higher institution in Nigeria today, Kwara State University and a lot of university, it consults for them. It's a consultant to environmental health Registration council of Nigeria, which a lot of people know. And um, so many, if I continue to talk about, you know, is, biography that will be here for a very long time. But one good thing is that this is a free webinar. And for him to have agreed to come on board tonight to share knowledge free of charge on behalf <coughs> of everybody here, on behalf of all the guests, I want to say thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much for uh, being very, uh, for your efforts regards the pest environmental health management 
in Nigeria uh, for your contribution and for your continuous contribution because the contribution has not stopped. And uh, to round my introduction up, um, let me also say that Baba is the founder of Marshall Institute of Pestology, a pest control training academy that will also be having a training sometimes uh, okay, before we finish the training, we're going to share the banner with us here so that we can see it as well. You understand? So, um, Daddy, good evening. Thank you for joining. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. Thank you, my good, my good son. It's a privilege of having you again here tonight. Thank you. Yoruba will say, Akuko uh, Gagara, <laughs> you know, it, it's a deep word for yes, those of us yeah. that understand Yoruba. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for what you have been known for. Thank you for being very real. Uh, we cannot thank you enough. And I'm so sure that there are lots in the kitty. A lot of us here tonight are going to gain a lot from what you're going to say. So briefly, let me touch the objective of our meeting. The objective is at the end of the session, participants should be able to distinguish between themas and woodwork. This is something I know brings a lot of confusion. At the end of the meeting, participants should be able to know the best way of controlling and eradicate this pest. Participants should be able to identify root causes, inspection process, and appropriate pesticides for usage. The content, woodwork termite control best practices and tips for management. Uh, okay, so, sir, I think I will have to leave the floor for you now. Um, with or without the slide, I know that you're going to do justice to the presentation. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Yes, sir. Can I continue? Can I start? Yes, sir. I want to thank you very much for doing a very good job. Rotimas, Rotimi, you are yes, a good son. Yes, sir. I am proud to I am proud to have you as one of my children. Grandchildren. Grand I sir. don't hide it from anywhere. Sir. I say grandchildren. Uh, well, uh, well, I, I still have some people. I will me. never hide. Uh, yes, like Dr. Samuel Akigbe. Yes, sir. Like I will look at Yes, I have them. But you are also part of the children that I am proud to be their father. And forever, nothing can separate us. That's the prayers. Yes, all glory to the Almighty God to start with. Because the knowledge, the wisdom, understanding of this life belongs to Him. And we always give it to somebody that he loves. So I am a privileged somebody. I am highly privileged because there is no mountain that cannot be crushed as we got um, uh, pest control services. This is a service I started up since 1983. 1983 to date. But it was confirmed by God in 1985. But let me go into the issue at stake before we start storytelling. There's a white, in fact, there's no correlation between termites and woodworm. They are not related. They are different species of insects. White termites, but the only thing that put them together is the food that they, the two of them love to eat. Termites will only be devil woods. Wood water also destroy woods. That's the only thing that you can relate them with. But outside that, they are never related. Termites on its own, termites are colonial insects. Can you hear me very well? Yes, sir. Can, can I continue? Yes, please continue, sir. Termites are colonial insects that live in a concealed, a concealed nest of colonies as do ants. It has been for long that everybody knows termites, but majority don't know good worm. Termites is well known because it has, de it has destroyed some homes, and we saw it destroying it. And that's the reason why 
we take notice of uh, something destroying our home. What is the woman? The woman? The woman? What is making noise there? Okay, it's Hello? better now. It's better now. Yes, it's better. It's better now. Okay. We have different species of termites. Over 2,000 species of termites. But the one that is of public health importance is the subterranean termites, which live in the soil. They live 500 meters under the surface soil. 500 meters. But they can trace any wood placed on the ground from that area to anywhere. They have destroyed so many houses. It's only Nigeria has no data of what is happening. At times when it happens, you will say it is the devil. It is a wish. It is a wizard. In Africa, we believe there is wish, there is wizard. So if anything happens, we always say it is a wish. Yo. He has promised to, to deal with me. So that's our problem in Africa. We don't go into the start to see what is really happening. What is the actual thing that is responsible for all these damages? Termites will come from the soil and then they sand through the whole of your building to the rooftop. They go to the rooftop. And why is it like that? There is no mitigation from the ascending to where they are going. That's what we call DPC. DPC means damp proof cost. In a layman's language, they call it German floor. Any house that has no appropriate German floor or DPC cannot escape the damage from termites. Let me, let me say that again. Any premises, any construction made without DPC that we call damp proof cost, or without what we call damp floor, people say it is it is not it's not a house. It's a temporary structure. It can be easily it can be easily be destroyed by termites. I'll give you an example. If you put any wood. Compound. And they will go and perch on the wood. Their food, majorly, is wood. They have no other food than wood. And when termites creep, make sure they get to the rooftop, what they do first is to establish a territorium, a mini territorium on the corners of the house. So by the time you kill the surface ones, you cannot kill those ones. If you are not an expert, you cannot get them. You must be an expert. You must be somebody that is knowledgeable enough about it to get them where they are. So termites are destructive insects. And it can also be distinguished from other ants by the fact that the witchesmen, they have four wings. Four wings when they are grown up. And the four wings are similar to each other. They are on the same level. That's the only way to distinguish them. Other ants also have wings, but the so, one is shorter. The hind wings is shorter than the front one. Can you hear me very well? Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Am I, am I, am I talking? Yes, sir. Very good. Very good. So how, how did termites get into our houses? Termites will come from the bush where, where you are. Some have what we call termitorium. It means that land is bedeviled with termites. They show themselves to the, to the world to see that they are there. By the time you see it, it's a social incest. It has the soldier, it has the, uh, the I mean, the, uh, the feeders. It has the soldier, it has the, it, it has the queen, it has the workers. It's a social animal. So they are complete animal. Complete insect for that one. They cannot reproduce unless they are queen. 
because their reproductive organ does not develop to that area of the reproduction. And I want to make you laugh. If you are an expert on this job, the day you remove the queen termite, you will never see them, that family, you will not see them on your soil again. Because they are going to cost that land for you killing or taking their coin. They will cost the land and they will never come there again. That human beings are dangerous, they are not good. You will not see them again. You will see termite through a tunnel or a tube, art tube or art tunnel. They will climb and you will see them. They will climb and you see them going. And by the time they get to where they are going, they have a destination. That destination is the roof. Because that is where the roof members are. That's why you have the plants that they are going to uh, devour. That's why you have it and that's where they are going. And they will not relent until they get there. You will ask me, who is their brick layer? God has given them the power to mold. In fact, they have architects among them. The workers, they, when they design, if you ever see the Quintamite house, you see the way they design like Astro Rock. They will do it, there's window, there's door, there's escape route. It's so, it's so fantastic. If you really go into it, you see the way they do it. It is marvelous and it is great to behold. You will see them moving and by the time you get to the queen, <laughs> It's another thing entirely. But before you can get to them, the soldiers are there to fight battle. They will fight you unlike the other insects that only the females are soldiers. Like your bees, like your wasp. Wasp and bees, only the females are soldiers. But as you got termites, both the male and the female they are soldiers. So they are ready to attack any moment. And you dare not go near the queen. In fact, you don't go near their house because they are always there to fight and they are ready. They don't mind. The first thing they do is to pounce on you. They bite you. Other one will bite on you, but for those who are experts, they know how to get to them. By the time we get to solution, I will go into that seriously. And if you still wait and do your search, you will hear more. There are so many things to talk here today. Termites are an animal created specially. The queen is milk like. They call termites white ants because they are white, they are fragile looking. You would think they cannot even do anything because they are very fragile, but they are whitish in color. That's why they call them white ants. And for those who have suffered catastrophically on termites, they will tell you a story about it. And I will share some with you. But I have a testimony to render on this issue of termites and wood borer. Let me quickly run into wood borer. Wood borer, I want to short our time. Wood borer are called the lava of beetles. They are the lava types of beetles. Like I told you, they, have, they don't have any relationship with termites. You cannot see wood border on the ground or on the floor, but they go to immature woods. And unfortunately, unfortunately, all the timber that we use in building our houses now are not matured. They are easily bedeviled. In fact, those who are cutting them don't allow them to get matured because of the hunger in the land. They cut it, and because they're not mature, they are easily bedeviled. The woodworm is the lover side, the lover of the beetles. The woodworm, by the time the, 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 the beetle lays its eggs, it hatches into woodworm. The woodworm will go into the wood and start to eat. And all their last palm is to eat. They don't, they don't wait until they die. They continue to eat. The reason why everybody should be serious about their premises they are living in. 
WHO have advised that each tenement should be disinfested. I will not say fumigated because it's a wrong system. When you are disinfecting, it is not fumigation. Fumigation is different from disinfestation. So I will come to that also if I have the time. But every house must disinfect his or her house at least once in six months. Once in six months, you must go to your rooftop, look at the rooftop. Are they still intact? Have they been bedeviled? Then you can know what to do. A wood borer is a type of beetle or a lava of beetle that spent most of his lifetime burrowing through and eating wood. They burrow through and they eat wood. They don't stop eating in a, in, in a minute. Their life is to, to start burrowing, burrowing, and eating. And they eat every minute. Once, one get, once you have that problem in your roof, you're already in trouble. Now, a wood brother starts his life when a female beetle lay eggs. When they lay their eggs, often within a wood, the wood himself, or in the cracks, or in the hollows, of the premises, they will lay their eggs, and by the time they ash, they ash to this wood, this uh, this border. The border will now start its own work to feed itself. By the time it's developed into what we call beetle, it can no more stay inside the wood. It will come outside the wood to fly away. By the time it fly away, you will now see them beetle inside your premises. It is then you will know that you are in trouble. And what they do, you will see what we call frass, powdery substance, white powdery substance. You will see it. It's very fine dust. But that fine dust, all the muscles in the wood have been taken out. And what next is the fragment, the decay. The damaged, the destroyed, the ruined members of wood that remain there. That's why when you climb at times, you will see that when you press your leg on the wood members on the, I mean on the roof, it, it, it sound prom, and your leg will like to come down. They are so damp. In fact, the damage, I would say, more than any other insect in the world. The damage termites will do is just 30%. If you want to wreck it or to rant, I mean to rant it, wood border will damage more than 100%. Because termite has evidence of seeing it going. You will see the art tunnel or the art tube going up. But wood, wood border, you will not see it. And they don't eat the outer part of the wood. That's another thing, another funny thing. They eat the inside of the wood, not the outside, not the out layer. Until when they finish all the muscles in the wood, then you will now see that something is happening. You'll be, you'll be hearing another sound again. But if somebody from adventure has something to do in, on the roof member, they go there, they will now call you, ah, you have a problem, oh. Let me now call it together. A friend of mine, so one at termite tunnel or termite tube in his house and he invited me. I went there. This is a POP house, a long span, beautifully decorated house. I climbed the roof. I still climb till now. By the grace of God, by the time I'm 100 years, I will not climb again. But I'm still climbing. So by the time I climbed the roof, I saw that the termite damage is just 10%. But what I saw there was the border damage. Border has damaged 70% of the wood members. And I told the man when I came down that you have to leave this house in the next three months. If not, the house will come down. I've said this several days some fora. I know nobody will say, what, I, what is he saying? Doctors will tell you their own. I'm also a, pre a preventive doctor. If I tell you leave your house, don't stay there. It will collapse and it will come down.
it has happened severally. So once Woodbora has gotten into your, into your wood members, they start to devoid. And when they devour, they destroy. So by the time the, the ceiling will come down, it will rest on the ceiling fan. If you have ceiling fan, if you don't have ceiling fan, then you are, that's a danger. If you are sleeping underneath, it can crash on them. It has done so many havoc. Wood border is a devil in the house. But what, what, what can we do? What to do is, one, as a PCO or as somebody, in, I mean, doing pest control services, the first thing to do what we call pre-service inspection. You have to go into each premises to see, not just insinuating or assuming. Majority of us assume. I told somebody, I said, if you are called to do a job and you carry your machine and you just go there, you are a quack. You are not. Hello, Daddy, please. Hello? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, 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 we can hear you now. Well, where do you hear last? Uh, if you are uh, asked to come and do a job. If you are going to inspect yes. a place, you are going to do a job, and you just carry your machine to yes. go there to do it, you are a quack. Can you see? Do you yes, hear what I'm yes. saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Without going for inspection, you are only assuming. And assumption is not the way of pest control services. You must ascertain what is happening there before you go into it. And by the time you go up and see the essence of damage, if it is 30% damage, it is redeemable. I will tell you why before we finish. If it is 70%, 60, 70%, it is not redeemable. You have to inform it to borrow money, go and borrow money. If it is 70, 80 percent, it can come down in three months because the wood members are already finished. There's nothing holding the roof again. The woods are gone and there's nothing to hold it. And at any tempest or any wind blow, it can come down. It has happened, but because people don't know what is happening, or what is happening to us in, in Africa is a witch or a wizard. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir, loud and clear. Am I, am, I, am I talking? Yes, sir. So the border has devour and damaged the wood members. On, so I told my friend, call your carpenter right now. If you don't do that, <laughs> your house is coming down. So it is not a joke. You don't, sort, you, don't, you don't just say, yes, I know it. No. And what do we do? The way to attack termites is similar. I would say similar to the way we attack wood border. The only difference is on termites, as you are doing the, the, the surrounding the compound, you are also doing the wood members. But on border, you are only treating the wood members. Can you see the difference? Yes, sir. You are only you are going to do. Um, border, you go on the wood alone. But termites, one, if you search around and there's a termitorium, the first thing is to remove that termitorium, that hill, that termite hill. You must remove it in entirety. If you don't remove it, you have not started. If you just spray your chemicals and you go, they will call you back and you will pay back what you have taken. So that's the reason why, before you do any job, you must quantify it. You must know the job you want to do, and you must be ready to do it wholesale, not retail sale. Not just doing a job that they will call you back. Nobody will introduce you to another person. If they are calling you back every time, then it shows you, are, you, are, you don't know what you are doing. So let's now see, in case of termites, what can we do? What to do are numerous. 
One, the carpenters will tell you, we are painted with solignum. <laughs> we are painted with solignum, yes. But it's not enough. It is not enough. If you have not removed the one on the ground, then you have to ask a question from the owner of the house. Is there any German floor when the, this house was constructed? If you said yes, thank God for that, then that means there must be a space or a tree is planted behind, beside the house or there is water drilling beside the house. Something must have happened. There is a hole that should be blocked where they are passing through. You must ask all these questions. But if this house has no DPC or has no German floor, that means hmm, you have a lot of job to do. All the blocks on the rooftop member, you know, it, they are not plastered. All the holes, one, one, you can see, you can count, there are so many. You have to treat them one by one. It's not a lazy man's work. And those who want the job to be done must pay appropriately. You have to treat all the holes one after the other. These are some of the things I want people to come and see in October. I promise you they will see what they have never seen in their life. And that's what we do here. And that's why we don't allow online training. You, must, you will use your hand. You will carry the thing. You will do the injection. You will do the... So many things is going to happen here. And that's why... I thank God for you doing this one for us today. So let me continue. By the time you treat all the holes, you will now have to treat the, the wounds one by one, both the, the bedeviled one and the other one. The, the, the bedeviled ones are going to be seriously painted with a solution, a oil-based solution. The holes are going to be disinfected or disinfected with water-based solution. It's going to be serious pumping because it's going down to meet them where they are. There are some areas you need to inject. We call it injection purposes. You have to inject. There are some areas you have to inject. Not all. There's, uh, there's a few things you have to use your machine to do. On the upper chamber, you don't uh, machine are not. In, I mean, necessary at times, but the application method that will make you to become what you really want the house to be. So, like I said, by the time you finish doing the walls, the holes in the walls, you go to the wood members. After the wood members, you now come down to face the wall on ground. If there's tamitorium. You remove, remove them in entirety. That's one. Number two, that's what you call the chemicals. Your so many of these chemicals. I don't want to be mentioning names, but I don't know how many of us are glued to this to this radio or to this uh, net. But I will I will mention some. Your chlorpyrifos is essential, but there are ways of doing it. Your carboflorum is also very essential. There are so many other things to mix with it. By the time you get to the rooftop, there are some you are going to use your oil. There are some because you will have the best of chemicals. But how about the application? Some of us fail when it comes to application. We have the best of equipment. We have the best of uh, chemicals. But application, nail. Some of us don't know how to apply it. You don't even, at times you have the equipment. You don't have the right, the right chemicals. At times you have the right chemicals, you don't have the right equipment to handle it. Recently, one of my children also starts selling what we call premise, which we are going to put on the ground. You are going to, I mean, inject it on the, on the ground. It has also worked wonderfully. Premise, premise, premise. It's basically for termites. It is not for wood water, so don't misconstrue it. Chlorpyrifos is for both. 
So there are so many things to use on that. Sapametrin. So many of these are there to use, but how about the issue of application? It must be well applied to make it good. In the olden days, our parents, they use uh, palm tree, palm tree wood, and their houses are still there. If you go to the village, you will see the houses there. Also in the olden days, the plant we use are mature before they, they are caught, they were caught. But now, since I've changed, no more matured wood, no more, you cannot see one. You can't see one again. And nobody's taking cognizance of that. And that's the reason why they will cut the wood for you. They will say one is good though, but don't, don't allow them to fool you. If you buy your wood, what you need to do is to make sure it is treated even before it is erected. Then one thing is germane. Some of us are building our premises without treating the soil. If somebody wants to build a house, I always advise them, don't start building. Let us help you. Let, spend money. Let's treat the soil. Then you can do your, what you want to do. If not, you are saving danger ahead because it will happen, it will come. By the time we want to do that, we do what we call flushing of the area. Flushing of the whole area. The time of domiciliary, when somebody give back that did not come and put water in your house, the same thing we do, but I don't want to call it domiciliary. We call it flushing. You flush the the, the compound very well. If you go down to meet them where they are, we call it no go area. You will not see them coming to that area. When you see danger, will you go there? You will, you will not go there. Everybody knows what is dangerous. Tamas also know that this place, no, you cannot go there. So they will try to go periphery of that area where you have introduced the, 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 the chemicals. So they will not come there and it will save the house for a long time. And by the time they call you again, it will be about two years before they can even call you because if you do it that way, and there is a, a, a German or DPC on it, I don't even think they will call you. But if they part, they will call you, it will be a very little job that will not destroy their premises. Because it is not easy to build a house now. The roof at times costs about five million. And if it come down crashing, it is not easy to say, pull it down and the roof. By the time you want to remove, the money will come. The government will come, no approval. So, so many things are attached to it. So, I want to advise that please let us start, let us continue to learn and see what we can do. Not only on termite and wood border, there are so many other things that is ravaging that we have not come across. I don't want to start mentioning it now because things are unfolding every day. Like my son said, I never retired. I only step aside and I'm refiring. Since I retired, I've been refiring up to West African countries and I thank God for those who are inviting me every time. And they will invite you if you are an expert. Nobody will call you if you are a failure. So what is worth doing at all is what done well. So if there's any question or anywhere you want me to touch again, I will touch or anywhere you want me to, I mean, do justice to, please do and tell me, I will do it. Okay, sir, thank you so much for the time spent so far. Thank you. Um, although I also have one or two questions that uh, maybe some gray areas to die. And I also noticed that uh, there are some questions already that have been dropped on the chat. You know, for some of us that may not probably want to say anything so much, we can drop our questions, just type a message drop it on the chat uh definitely we're going to we're going to read it out um i want to once again appreciate the presence of uh, some environmental health officers that we have here tonight um number one we have the state uh president of environmental health Association of nigeria his person of uh, dr sanitaria taiwa thank you so much sir 
not just that, we have um, one of our grandfathers in the house. That's a, that's a, that's a good one. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Baba Thank you very much. Jacob Shueto. Baba, Baba is here tonight also. Um, I was so happy to see him. Our senior colleagues in the industry, mommy, co-founders, um, these are people that already, I can say that the knowledge is there too, but you know, as a means of support, that's where we see them. Uh, sometimes um, I go from Mega Clean and so many other persons that cannot uh, be mentioned one after the other. So, but uh, thanks to the EHOs, uh, like uh, Dr. Akigbe taught me some years back, they say we don't just breathe casually, we say uh, Sanita Sanitatus. Oh, God, let's wait your oh, Mina Sanita. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, I hope I'm correct. <laughs> Dr. Onuga, I hope, uh, <laughs> I hope I'm correct. Sanita, yeah. Sanita, Tum. Yes, yes. God, bless you. God bless you, Baba. Sanita, Sanita, Tum. Uh, Omenia, yeah. Sanita. Yes. Then yeah. that the head of the head of, the head of one man is the head of others. Is yeah. the head of all. The head yeah. of all. Mm. Yes. So, at least, bless I, I, I... Thank I, you, Lord. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Uh, before we proceed, I want to use this medium to quickly inform us that uh, Marshall Pestology Ventures, which is um, Baba's brainchild, has put together a three days integrated pest management workshop. Uh, it's going to start from 4th to 7th of October. 4th of 7th of October. Before the end of the training, we're going to share the banner here for us to see. Um, the training is going to be very intense and i can assure you that uh, um, there is assurance of money back guarantee uh, pest control is very practical yes we have touched some areas but um, like you said going to see things live on ground doing it you know will help us and no knowledge is wasted no knowledge is lost we keep learning we keep learning every day uh, for some of us that we want to make inquiry about the training and how to the workshop fee is thirty five thousand naira. And the call, the number to call to be part of this is 80 6709 0001. That's the direct uh, line of Baba, who is coincidentally the convener of, of the program. Um, so the first question from the group here is somebody say, Daddy, a question. Our holding this father used traditional way of dogs and other ways. What is your view about this? Uh, that is the first question. I don't know if we have any other that's question. Not, that's on our way. Yes, yes. He said. Uh, that's on our way. Yes, and uh, somebody's. I know you have so many children. Uh, one of your uh, children, uh, sorry, one of your child, as in uh, Doctor Esther Tilayojo, a senior lecturer in the Department of Linguistic, African and Asian Studies, University of Lagos, is saying hello. Uh, she's very glad to be here tonight, listening to you. Uh, she she also dropped that message, but uh, that's, 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 do, that's wonderful. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So do we? Yes, 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 <laughs> do we start uh, probably getting buying dogs off the streets to to chase termites? How feasible is this strategy in curtailing termite infestation, sir? No, please repeat that last one. Okay. Uh, someone said in the olden days, the holding the the fathers the fathers in the olden days used to use traditional way of dogs. I don't know how it works, but I don't know if you know every question is you know we just have to push it out. Okay, okay, yes. I can hear you very well. Yeah, I can hear you very well. That is it still feasible See? in this age to rely on such? So <laughs> let me just let me make you laugh. I went to, I, I was invited by somebody, a very senior custom officer. The house in question was worth about two billion naira. I'm not joking about it. I saw the house, it's all about termites. And I told the man, I gave him my, I told him, let me do it for you. I gave him the price. But some people are standing by him that day and they said, if you allow me to go, that they have a way to do it. After three months, the man called me back. He said they bury about eight dogs. Mm -hmm. They bury about eight dogs. <laughs> and the termites multiplied. He told the dogs will kill them. 
and they took money from him. I was just smiling. He said, there's nothing like that. It's all fallacy. It can never work. And that never work. Dogs, I don't know what, I don't know what science. I don't know what the science behind that. Dog cannot do anything with underground issues. It is not possible. It is not possible. Dog cannot do anything on that. So it's fallacy. It doesn't work. What they do in those days, in those days, they will put they will, they will put banana leaves, dry it, put it on top and set fire. But the fire will not go to the queen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. The fire cannot affect the queen. Once the queen is not affected, it is not done. It is just, I mean, a fake exercise. It has not worked. It has not worked. And that's the truth about it. So that's on that. Another question. Okay. Another question is on the, the methods of thermite control. Most especially subterranean, the one you spoke really about. Uh, premise by Bayer is one of the, in fact, if not, I think it's probably the best product at the moment when it comes to thermite control. And uh, someone is asking, uh, is there any way of applying premise in treating uh, subterranean thermite without having to do uh, eat and drill, having to dig rand? Like, okay, probably in situations where they have concrete floors around the house, and uh, the process of drilling is not feasible. Is there any other way? And um, why must it be the drilling? What is the effect on of of the uh, the beating on on the queen? Because what you said now is that in most cases you have to get across. You must make sure that you 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 get to the queen to to achieve results. What what is the effect? You know, because you may not have the access except you are seeing the hand till to the queen. So what is the effect of this pesticide on the, on the queen itself? And what is the process of having to dig when the, the, the facility is, is, has a concrete floor around? <clears throat> Thank you. As we got premise, the best method to use premise is drilling. That is the structure that is, in fact, that's how they structured it. There are some chemicals, you know, when they do it, they structure it, and they will tell you, this is what we want you to do. If you do it your own way, you may not have results. But the best is to drill. That's a drilling machine. Probably if you go to a pet shop at Lekki, or sorry, at Ogudu, that's a drilling machine. You will drill and introduce this thing there. By the time it gets there, the termites under it are in trouble. It has been certified. And it has been, I mean, since it is working. But there are some other things that you can do. Hello? Yes, sir. Where with you, sir? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. There are other things you can That's do. We can hear you. Like, like, you, like your carboflorum, you throw it on the ground and pour water on it. You pour a lot of water. It's like, uh, what do you call, conflicts. It is structured like conflicts. You to introduce it and you pour a lot of water. The water will take it down to where you are sending it. It works a lot. Then your chlorpyrifos. I will not tell you how to apply that until you come to this training. Don't laugh, don't smile, don't laugh. <laughs> you, have to, you have to come to the training and do it yourself. There are so many other methods that you can, you can do. And you will see the way we do it. And it works wonderfully. <laughs> The queen, if there is no queen around, it is not in that area, it's somewhere else. Because one thing always happens when you take consciousness of you want to, I mean, destroy the, I mean, the termitorium, some of the ants will escape. You cannot kill all the ants, it's not possible. Some will still escape. Those that escape will go elsewhere to regroup. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Those that escape will go elsewhere around that, not far from that area, to regroup. And that's the reason why, at times, 
the second house, the third house, if they are if they are in love, they can do the job together and make sure their area is free of this. I mean, uh, uh, ants. But if only you do your own and you don't just flip the hills and the hills, you are not getting to where the queen is. You have not done anything unless there is no 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 hill there. Once the hill is there, you must dig. You must bring the queen out. You must see the queen yourself. I've done it several, and we are still doing it. And that's our best. I mean, we, we are experts on this field, and we know how best to handle it. So, any other question? Okay. Um, there's a question here from Mr. Agorua, PCO Agorua, but I think you have mentioned that earlier on. I think because he joined us late, that's why he's asking. He's asking for the Maybe that you can help us touch that again. He said, what is the major difference between termites and wood borer infestation? I know you have touched it before, but I think it came a bit uh, okay. late. Yes, sir. I started with that one. Yes, sir. I said, termites are colonial insects. Termites are colonial. When you say colonial, that means it has been with us for a very long time. It's not a thing of now. And they live in concealed nests or colonies. They live, you, you cannot see them. They cannot be moving nakedly. You will see them either in a tube, in art tube, or art tunnel. That's termite. They, are, they don't have any relationship with wood borer. They are never related. They are not from, in fact, they are not on the same group. The only thing that combines them together is the food they eat. Termites eat wood. Wood borer also eat wood. That's the only thing that can, you can talk about the two of them. Aside that, there's nothing. And like I told you, termites are on the ground, 500 meters below the ground. 500 meters. That's why they are. Where they are, they are. The only way you call them, they will come. If you put plank on your floor, they will come and trace it. They make sure they trace it. And if you don't do German floor, or you don't do what we call uh, 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 DPC, that we call damp proof course, if you don't do it, then there's a hole. They will trace that hole to your wood member. That's termite. That's how they got there. But wood borer, we call them wood borer because they affect wood. It is because of the immaturity of the wood they are cutting now. The wood that we are using now are not mature. Are not more mature, hence they are easily bedeviled. So they have nothing to do. And I, like I told you before, I said wood borer is the lover of beetle. By the time it grows to beetle, it gets off from the wood. It fly away to another place and go and die. But once it remains as a worm, it will eat the wood. In fact, trout is life farm. They don't rest. They continue to eat and eat and eat and eat until they, can, they, they become a mago or they become uh, beetles. So they don't have any relationship. They are of different nature. They are not the same. In fact, they don't even they don't have anything in common. But all what they do is the two of them destroy wood. They destroy furnitures. They destroy, they destroy cabinets. They destroy so many things. You see the dusty particles coming down. That's the way to see, to distinguish them. So is there any other question? Okay, before, before we throw the floor open for questions, for those that may want to speak directly with you here now, um, I want to quickly make a comment. I recall that uh, oh. about uh, two years ago, if I'm not mistaken, we got a job at the International Airport in Port Harcourt, and uh, it was uh, about Woodborough. And um, I remember very well that when we we're having challenges, I I ran to you as usual. Daddy, this is what we're trying to do. For some of us that might have visited uh, International Airport, the one in Port Harcourt, the moment you get to the uh, the local wing, as you're coming, that there's a big, it was like an hard work, very gigantic wood, rand. So they started having droppings, you know, and you put me through the process of injection, which until that time I've probably never even 
heard of or used. And uh, to God be the glory, that was the last time they called us to. Well, I don't, I, I, I want to ask if you want to uh, share a little bit about the injection method or you want it to be at the training <laughs> in, in, in October, you know, because I know that I can't decide what you do as, as, as God leads. Let me just put it that way. I will, I will tell you one thing, my son. I am waiting for those who really want to go into the business in October. That's one thing. Because I, I assure you that you cannot be in this uh, uh, business and be a poor man. You cannot. It's not possible. Unless you don't know your job. People like me, I don't have rest. I have injected a house and I brought out 18 snakes. 18 snakes in one house. Through injection. The way we do it, I want them to come and see the practical doing, not the theoretical ones. So somebody called me from Cross River. He said, I hope it will not be a theory or oh, jambori. I said, no, you come and see. I don't do jambori. That's why I don't allow anybody to say I want to. Uh, I no, 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 no. If you don't come, you cannot be with us. You must come. You must handle equipment. You must handle the machine. You must do everything we are doing here before we give you a certificate. And it's very important. So you have to come. I will not tell you that one now. Come in October to say it. It's worth saying. Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, so I have a message here from my uh, SPCO. You know, most people don't know when I say SPCO. They don't know me. We are used to PCO, PCO, pest control. But, you know, the way you hear SPCO, you know, it shows that uh, eh, our SPCO, Dennis. The Babagba. Yes, so <laughs> yes, so <laughs> uh, yes, so and uh, Co. Pa Williams. Yes. Uh, I know, I know. Uh, Fubiga Clean is an SPCO as far as I'm concerned. And uh, thank you, sir. He, he has also been a blessing to us on this series of episodes. I think episode five or six, he was with us here, and uh, it was a very insightful session. Now, he, he said, I have an experience on that question. I was treating termites in the facility and a man saw us and invited us to his house. He showed me a small garden. He had used almost all chemicals like uh, diclovol, cypermetrin, but no solution. Though a small place, I charged him so much with guarantee. Digging of the barriers of the garden carried out in the morning and small quantity of premise mixed with water and poured around the openings we dug. We covered the openings. In the evening, the customer said he saw that the soldiers brought the queen to the surface and all the soldiers died after the queen brought up. That ended the existence of termites in that garden. Mm. That's a testimony mm. from, from Clean. No, I like that. That's, yeah. that's true. I like that. Yeah. The yeah. soldier will not die than the queen die. Yes, yes. The soldier will fight to die than allow their queen to be ridiculed. Mm. You said, you see, I don't know what sense, but that's questions we are going to ask God when we get there. How this, this they will carry queen is about uh, uh, 20 times the soldiers. If you have seen the queen in size, they're about 20 times the soldier. You will see them carrying their so their queen. I see we are carrying body. That's what they do it. They don't joke with their coin. It's their life. So that's the way it worked. Experience is good and testimony is very valuable. Okay. All right. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Now we're going to open up for some of us that want to ask questions. Okay. How much is premise and how much can yes, how can we get it? Okay. Uh, we drop uh, pet shop contacts uh, here. For some of us that want to make an inquiry about premise, we're going to drop it here so that you can contact them directly. Uh, but I think it's uh, 95,000 naira. But please don't let that amount scare you. You have uh, a lot of a grant, a lot, a lot of grants. The value for the money. Yes, yes, yes. You have you have a lot of grants to cover with uh, with that uh, particular uh, 
one 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 liter or there about it. Uh, it covers a lot because uh, in most cases you don't have to do more than 120 sorry ml or 125 ml in 100 liters of water. You know so. Anyway, so we're going to drop the, and some of us already know where to get it from. Uh, so one of your grandson here, Ola to look where he's saying hello. Uh, he said, he's asking for the date of the training, and I've said that before, October 47th, he's going to be holding at Marshall Building in Ayobo, Lagos, Nigeria. So anybody with question, please, let's just raise up our hand, then we all mute us. If you have questions, comments, regards to what we're talking about. Uh, back B2, ah, okay. okay, so sir, another question, what's the difference between back B2, powder post beauty, powder post B2, wood borer and thermite? But the floor is open for comments and questions. What's the difference between back B2, powder post and uh, B2, 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 B2 have B2 have many, many species. Hello. Yes, sir. Termite has no relationship with beetle. I've said that before. There's no relationship between termite and beetle. No relationship. It's like asking me what relationship between bed bug and cockroaches. They are not related. It's just like that. Some will tell me cockroaches are the one begetting a box. Ah, it is not so. So beetle and termites are not related. And I would say it up in time. They are not family. They are not related. So be it. So beetle has species. Termites also have more 2,000 species. They are, not, they are not the same. So until when you see the one that is troubling you, even ticks have species. They will tell you we have the soft, we have the hard. There are ways to handle the soft. There are ways to handle the hard. So they are different things entirely. That's why you must know what to do. And if you want to be an expert, you go ahead to learn more. That's the way to do it. By the grace of God today, in West African countries, they will call me if they have a problem on these issues. I want you also to be called, not me alone. There are so many. But you can also be there so I can have rest. Yes, that's the truth about it. If you are an expert and they discover that you can do it for them, uh, the job will be less on me. And that's the, that's the reason why we are sharing knowledge. Africans don't like sharing knowledge. They believe when they tell you, uh, they, you will lose something. You are not losing anything. If you don't share it, you will die with it. And the best of brains are in the cemetery. So why are you keeping it? If I'm not giving it free, sell it. And let people know. If you give it free, they will not understand. They will not utilize it. But take money from them, they would they would they would use it very well and you'll be happy. That's the way to do it. All right, sir. So the floor is still open for questions. And uh, when we're waiting for questions, let us be reminded again that next week, Sunday, this time by God's grace, episode nine of um, inspiring storytelling session will be coming up. And our guest for next week is no other person than Tega, Mr. Episio Tega Feludu. Is the MD of uh, the company called Pest Control Nigeria. Uh, is an associate certified entomologist. And they will be dissecting, talking, discussing, sharing knowledge when it comes to mosquito control. I don't want to go into details, but I know that Daddy once you've told me that uh, you're, you're, you, don't, you, don't like, you don't like to take a uh, mosquito job. But I don't, want us to do, I don't want to discuss that. Wow, 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 wow. Daddy, uh, we have somebody, we have one of your... I one of your great son. He has promised to sponsor a candidate to attend the program coming up in October. Uh, thank you, thank you, Dr. Onoga. That's thank wonderful you so much for that gesture. So I don't know the criteria we're going to use to That's support. Nice. Uh, maybe I should just use myself and just win the the slot, right? <laughs> but I'll be I'll be there also as a as a guest facilitator. But know that. Uh, I don't know the criteria we're going to use to pick someone. Maybe pick someone from one of the participants tonight, or maybe your guy is going to tell us who is sponsoring. Well, I think I'll leave that to him to decide. But whatever decision he makes on that, I will see, we'll see come back to general. So let's uh, share our views, 
ask questions on the subject topic. Uh, sorry, on this on the topic we've been discussing about so far. If you have any question, please just mm -hmm. drop your hand and let's. Okay, Mr. Adioshu, um, I've just have, have you, you've been unmuted. Please go ahead with your question. Yeah, I really want to appreciate uh, our daddy uh, in the pest control profession. I want to say thank you. Every time I'm opportune to be where you are uh, dishing out the knowledge, I'm always uh, very happy. And thank I you. pray by the grace of God, I look forward to the training in October. It has been my desire, at least to also be an alumnus of the uh, Marshall uh, <laughs> Pestology Institute. Institute. So the, the question is, uh, you talked about uh, the B2, the lava has been a uh, infesting uh, wood. So I just want, I want us to look at uh, what can we really refer to as a dry wood uh, termite. You understand? I say, uh, no, I say, against uh, the subterranean termite, because I learned that there are dry wood and there are subterranean. Then how do you relate this to the, where the wood border that you have just uh, enlightened us about tonight? Thank you very much. Then the other question is, uh, which I have written as uh, uh, in the chat box, that is where you, there are constraints within uh, the rooftop, what method can we still use at least to achieve the result of uh, the disinfestation? Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. I have mentioned that there is no relationship between beetle and bora, oh, sorry, and uh, termite. They are never related. And like I told you before, we have different species. I can be mentioning so many as I have seated here. We have species, we have different kinds of termites, we have different kinds of beetles. Beetles, they are the damager of wood. When you see, even your house, your doors, your furniture, might be dropping some fine dust particles. Every time you see, even the tear, the opposite they are doing now, the wood they use might be bedeviled because you are only seeing the rubber on top. You are not seeing the wooden structure. I have a friend, Dr. Yekon. If you look at the, the, the tear, it's very beautiful, but the woods are already gone. Come and see the floor with powdery substance. And I told him that we have to come and inject your house. We have to come and do something here because he's a very close friend. So I say, why different? They are not on the same level. And we should not equate them to be on the same level. Because at times you go for an interview and they want to ask you questions. They will want to put you to task whether you let know what to do. Somebody has asked a question before. What difference between organic and inorganic? I was just looking at him. So, so many people will want to try you whether you know what you are saying or what you are doing or not. So they are not on the same level. They are not. And don't correlate it again to be on the same level. The only place they meet is when they are eating, consuming, or bedeviling, or destroying, or ruining the wolf members. That's the only time they meet. So they are not bora and termites are not on the same level. Is someone listening to me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mr. John Seladipo, please, you have the floor. Mr. Johnson, please go ahead with your question. Mr. John Seladipo. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you, Mr. Johnson? I'm, I'm fine, sir. Um, if I may ask, sir, um, amen, sir. Thanks for sharing your knowledge with us, sir. If I may ask, sir, if a God roof is not that, like the, the olden days roof we do have, like, a very short roof, you know, there are shorter roof of those days. That I like your question. The roof, and the, wood, the roof and the woods are not, you know, the space is not, not much, sir, and we have mm. issues with termites, sir. How do we get to the roof by so doing? Why roof, like this day's roof that are higher, that we can have access to the woods, sir? So how do we get, gain access to the shorter roof, sir? Mr. Johnson. Hello. Yes, sir. That's a very good question. Listen to me. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. We have okay, a shorter sir. roof 
we have the spacious roof. The shorter roof are always having problems. And the only way to tackle them, you will tell the owner of the house what you want to do. We have to remove some of the slates. You can either remove, the, if you look at the slate outside, if it is not long span. If it is long span, you cannot do anything on that unless you see the carpenter who can remove some ceilings. Because if you don't get there, you cannot, you know, there's this long brush of the painters. There's a long brush. There's a long brush that they use a stick to make it very long. Yes, yes, we do it at times, but you must remove some areas, at least one, two, yeah. one, two, so that your hand will touch and they will, they will do it back. They will do it back, but you must make sure that it is, you have inspected and you have ascertained that that's the problem they are having. I must have, we won't bring the dust because I have, in my workplace, in my company, I have about two carpenters. And that's the reason why I engage them. They can go to any roof. They will either sleep on the uh, sleep there and roll there. They know how to do it. It's not they cannot be there for long. They will bring out the dusty particles so that we can show the owner of the house. So that the owner of the house will believe everything or anything you want to do. If you don't show them, they will not believe you. So you have to remove some areas, some spaces. I will tell you one. We went to a place where snake entered to their roof. We need to call the carpenter to remove a slate up. Before we can pump our chemicals, we, 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 we pull the snake out. Because you must get there. If you don't get there, you cannot go, you cannot do it. If you don't get there, you cannot do it. And that's the only way to do it. That's where we have been doing it. And it has worked for us seriously. Okay, so, sir, um, I'm sorry. Okay. okay, sir. Okay, sir. Um, yes, I got this right. Uh, yeah, you are very correct, sir, because I had a counter of such two points, sir. So um, the other thing is, what if, you know, like I said, sir, I think by removing one after in pieces, as in, in pieces, I don't, can it really work like that? Or why? Can they remove everything if possible or almost half? Because there are some corners, you know, the way the roofs are being built of those days, it's a kind of, you know, it might not really have, really have access by removing it one a bit by bit, like. Let me, I, I, I heard you. Okay, I heard sir. you. Okay, sir. Let me quickly tell you what, what you can do. Things are changing now. Some carpenters have equipment or instruments that they will use to unscrew, and you will not even know it is unscrewed. We have so many of these equipments now, unlike in those days. Now, things are changing. The equipment to remove, but don't, don't remove the entire thing. The owner of the house will not like you. And that is the truth about it. Nobody would like you for removing the whole things. There are some things, okay. the corners, when they want to dodge themselves, they dodge at the corners. With, my, with, my, with my over 40 years experience, they wow. always dodge at the corners. Farmers will build this house at the corner. They know they will not get to their corner. They will want to build exactly, this at the corner. It is that corner, and if you are lucky, if you know how to find them, you will go with your cutlass, your cutlass, to remove what they built there, because they have a mini crematorium on at that corner, at the four corner. They know how to do it, and you will remove it and bring it down. If you have done that, you have destroyed them. Once you are able to remove the mini crematorium up, you have destroyed them. But don't remove. All or you can remove the corners, the middle, mm -hmm. then the carpenters who are expert don't engage somebody who cannot climb. I, like I told you, I have two carpenters working for me. And I'm still going to engage more because we have a lot of dumb at, at, at hand. 
So it is the carpenter that know where to, to take on the roof. If you engage somebody who will fall down, you are going to be in for it. But the carpenters know what to do. They take their money. We still have that gain. And we go home happily. So don't allow anybody who's not in carpentry work to climb the roof so they will not fall down and cause you problems. Exactly. Okay, sir. Sorry, sir. One more question. I'm sorry, sir. Um, what is the best charges for a for, for to, to, to for someone to be treated in let's say a roof of six bedroom flats? Let me use that word. Six bedroom flats. Yes, sir. What is the best charge? I will I will I will start from I will start from two fifty thousand. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. You know we have we have we have charge and bill lawyers. Yeah, of course, sir. We have, we have SAN lawyers. <laughs> yes, sir. You are SAN, sir. On this job, I'm a, yes, I am an SAN. Far, far, If they isn't bill, SAN. So if, if they will call me, <laughs> if they will call me, they will not even they will not even. In fact, when I give them price, they will not even they will not talk to me. <laughs> they will pay my price because they know what I will do for them. They rather call us your children. They rather call us your children. Wow. <laughs> so it's advice to, to get their wood okay. treated before before it's being as I so it's, it's advisable to get all their wood treated before it's being mounted, sir. Whether Thank you, you sir. whether you it is very good, but one thing is certain. I have that question. Is there a place German floor or no? Please ask that question for them. All right. Okay. Uh, Mr. Johnson, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you very much. No bless you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, we yes, have sir. a question here. I think somebody already, uh, that question has been answered already. The difference between uh, termites and wood, but I think that's been, that, that area has been. Uh, sorted out before. Sure. Just that like Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody say I have a newly roofed, a newly roofed but no ceilings bungalow of six room. I noticed from just the droppings. I think we have talked about we have, the, this area has been sorted about already on the on the on the beach. Room. I think there are something has been said about. Only come out the roof roof by the Mr. Agochi Bright, please, you have the floor. Make it very brief. We have, we have spent so much time on, on question and answer already. So please, let's, let's very brief your question. Mr. Bright, are you there? Mr. Bright, are you there? Okay, sir. Okay, uh, so Hello. Samuel Hinam is asking, what are the, there are situations that the roof may be tight, that sprayer may not be easy to use. What uh, should be done in such situation? The question is, again. Is, is, is the same thing we just addressed just now. I think that has been addressed. That has been addressed. Uh, well, um, I'm just going to hold on for two minutes and see if we still have questions. But the fact remains that we can't have every information we have here tonight. Uh, we just want to increase our depth of knowledge and uh, we continue to seek for information more that we advance the cost of our performance as far as press management is concerned, as, as far as thermite control is concerned. But I can tell us from my own point of view, Specialized jobs like these are not what everybody that would do the same business can handle. So it's an advantage for us to, to be an expert in this area. Where others can fail, we can succeed in it. And I can tell us that this is one of the lucrative uh, jobs a pest controller can engage in. You can just say now, the, the, when he asks, what does it take to do, blah, blah, blah. Daddy said it won't take less than 250, which is true. Yesterday, I shared some video where somewhere where we... Uh, I won't mention the amount of money because uh, the security of Nigeria now is not uh, is not funny. 
I like to conceal that aspect. You know, yesterday I called you, I was somewhere and saw swimmers. You know, you know, they were everywhere coming out of the wall. You know, those ones that we call the susu that we hit. It was so bad that they were already, you know, passing through the walls, coming out. And then, you know, I'm sure we've done justice. We were there last night around 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. walking there, you know, and all that. But it was was quite a, 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 a good deal for us to understand. So, and I'm sure that one of, we've learned one or two things. While we're waiting for questions, I want to quickly say, uh, give a shout out to my team member that has been making this episode very easy. At every time that we you see me live here like this, hosting guests, there's a young man that is always with me at all times. Sundays like this, we come to the office to make sure that uh, everything is going on fine. That's in, uh, uh, in person of uh, PCO John Adekoya. Um, he's an assistant operations manager here in Rotomax. He has been very, very supportive. And the, David is here. Uh, the admin team, Violet and Dami. There are a lot of people that makes this work come out like this, you know. I'm just here to show my face, but a lot of things goes on on the ground. So, thank you guys for for the support. And uh, mm. tonight too, my wife is a guest. Maybe she's trying to <laughs> to to learn more about Tamai too. Uh, thank you so much, my lovely wife also for for being part of the program so far. So why was she also? Is she also there? Yes, she's there. She's there. She's, she's, yes, sir. She's there. My daughter she's, is there. Yeah, she's, uh, she has been, she has been with us in the beginning of the project. I don't know if she will. Hey. Yeah, she's, she's there. She's, she, she's, she's a pest controller, too, <laughs> by proxy. She's, she's also a pest controller. In fact, uh, she's a she pest want, controller. No, not even by proxy. She, she wants to hear, <laughs> she want to hear and, and, and that is voice. Yes, yes, yes. So mm. questions, questions, questions. We can see the banner of the event on the... Um, on the on the screen already, uh, we can see the banner. So we're still holding on. Uh, if you don't have questions, then okay. Um, thank you so much for organizing. Okay, thank you, Mr. Alufemi Odulaja. Uh, can we have a PowerPoint presentation sent to our email? Yes, yes, yes. But it'll be easier on WhatsApp after the event. Uh, after this training, we're going to send it to the WhatsApp groups. It'll be easier to send it on WhatsApp. Yeah, we ask. thank you, Mr. Savia. I think, I think we've addressed all the questions that have been dropped on the chat, except if you have any other person that have any question. Any other question? Okay, uh, we're supposed to have a session that goes into details of the stories behind Marshall Institute, but because of time, we may not have such tonight. I think we can also hold on to that in the training. Uh, but on uh, conclusively, Daddy, I want us. To, I want you to please help us to advise one or two uh, people that are struggling with holding force. You know, sometimes it's not always very easy. You hear so many. You are in so many trainings. You have gained so much knowledge, but you know, business is not coming as you have expected. You know, you are just trying and trying and trying, but you are just feeling like, oh, okay, I'm seeing people doing this, but I think I can do better. You know, what advice based on experience for some of our participants that are still hoping that this is a lucrative profession as they have been seen? What advice do you have for them, the help commerce? Thank you. Firstly, <clears throat> the desperate mind cannot be there. If you are desperate, we can hear you, sir. Then you cast your bread upon the waters after you have gotten the knowledge. Cast your bread upon the waters. It will bring so many things for you. You see, we are in a hurry to make money. Once you have it, the first thing to do is to start a free job. A free job.
to send, I mean, to send you to people that matters. And you'll be surprised. But the first thing is to have that knowledge. I've seen somebody who went to work in, uh, on the ship and the man destroyed the ship. The man ran away. He just called the wife. Back away. I'm already going. I think job is so lucrative. So also, hey, hey, it's at times that will be a problem. You must know what to do. As regard safety, you must know much about safety also. And you must have somebody as the last man standing. Somebody must stand as the last man standing. Somebody who is vast in knowledge. Somebody who can really hold forth when you're not there. Somebody who's ready to do it as you. And I must tell you this also. You must not engage a thief. Hey, please listen very well. Don't because it's your family. A thief is a thief. First controller enter into the secrets of the people. And if anything happens and somebody something is stolen, they will destroy your name. And you may not apart again. So don't because if you look as look for somebody and you see the trait of a rogue in somebody, please send that person away. Don't let him or her stay for two days. It's not a family business. It's a serious business. And once you know your job, my brother, you will do exploits. And you will see that you don't have rest. They will be calling you from one place to the other. And it is the truth. It is the honest truth. At times, I will... Don't ever be a quack. Don't ever carry your machine at any back and call. Make sure you go and see what is happening. When you see what is happening, you will know the best thing to do. A friend of mine went somewhere, Dr. Eze, I don't know where he's listening to me now. He saw the job we could not have to. He had to call me that we are going to do it together. Yes. It's good for you to learn. Don't say, I will eat the money alone, chop alone, die alone. Call somebody who is an expert. Let him follow you. When he follow you, you will get it done. And you will study from him. And you will know more. Don't hide it. Don't say, because somebody will share from the booty. No. Let him share. Tomorrow is there. Uh, somebody called me one day. I said, Baba, I have a job. Oh, and we are doing it together. And he never called me again. He went to do the job alone, but <laughs> they asked him not to come back again. Mm He's -hmm. a director. Yeah, because he destroyed it himself. He now, okay, he now begged them. They gave me a last chance. He now came to me and said, somebody back with that day. If a boy, I mean, kill, kill uh, this one, he will eat alone. But this one, I've killed what I cannot eat alone. The Baba, I'm sorry. That place I told you, we have to go together. I said, when you call me that time, have you gone to do it? He said, yes. What are you calling me for again? Uh, we, do it. we did the job, but the job was not good. And they gave me a last chance. I said, I will not go with you, but I will teach you what to do. I have enough money to feed myself. I'm never desperate to make money. Money will always come, no matter what. Once I'm hungry, God will send snakes to somebody's house. Money must come. It is a matter of must. It is a I love that Once my pot is going down, ah, uh, it has happened when Gwari was coming to Niger State. But from nowhere, came down to the to the lodge. That mina, I was uh, uh, they flew me down, and they paid me this this money. Even our governor in Lagos here, he was dancing at Marina, and aunt bedeviled him. And they called me on Sunday. I said it must happen because I must eat. I'm not the senator. I'm not in the House of Rep. But my God, the budget I'm spending is God's budget. They must always call me and I must always make my money. By the grace of God, 
I am not a poor man. I am not on the top, I'm not on the low, I'm in the middle, but I'm never poor. So if you take your time, take your time, know the job very well, be an expert, buy the knowledge, take the knowledge, create passion for the knowledge, and you will never remain the same. And that's the truth about it. I can't tell you you have nothing doing. You must have something doing. And there's so many things to do. And you will hear so many things when you come. I invite you. And you will never regret your coming. Mm -hmm. I bless you for all this we are doing today. And I will forever be grateful to you mm -hmm. for doing this one, for making people to know what is good for them, and for bringing people from the woods. Because it is all of us have to contribute one or two things to somebody's life. And I thank God we are doing it. Like I told you, my years on earth is 120 years. Mm -hmm. So I still have a lot to do. <laughs> I still have a lot to do. I have a lot to do. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank God bless you. you. Once again, I want to thank you so much. Uh, Baba Shueto has a message for you too. Baba. Ah, please, 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 <laughs> please, please. Yes, Baba please. has. Rotmas. Yes, sir. Baba uh, has been Baba with Baba is my father. Yes. Baba has been Baba with Baba Shueto is my father. father. Uh, Baba said, I would like to thank the organizer. And the he is the former registrar. Yes. Ah. And, uh, it's, uh, oh, it's a privilege to Baba, have him. Uh, Baba is my father. <laughs> so, Baba is 77, as yeah. you are seeing him. Wow. Baba will be 77 in November or so. Wow. Yes. Yeah. He, as I father you, he also fathered me. Yeah. So he's your own grandfather. Yes, great grandfather. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Great Thank grandfather. You. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for joining as well. Uh, like I said uh, earlier, we can't have it all in just one night. We just have to boost, increase the mileage of our knowledge. Then gradually, gradually, we continue to move ahead. Um, once again, I want to thank everybody for taking out their time to join us tonight. Next week, when we meet again, by God's grace, I think we still have so much to share. Uh, I want to believe that nobody has a question uh, because almost all the gray areas have been touched. Because if you have questions, I'm sure that I will have seen us uh, raising, really raising our hands up. Uh, the recording of the whole, for some of us that are coming out, going out, the recorded version will also be available maybe towards the later time of this month on our YouTube channel so that we can catch up with some of the conversations. But I initially dropped the contact of Baba. Okay, Mr. Savia. Okay, quickly, let me just give you the privilege. You're already rounding up when I saw your hand up. Please, quickly. Yes, sorry about yes. that. All right. Anna from Baba, how to tackle snakes in ceilings? Uh, we're not discussing snakes huh? tonight. We're not discussing snakes tonight. But you mentioned snakes when he, he said he mentioned snakes too. Uh, we're not discussing snakes. <laughs> I know, but he mentioned snakes too. <laughs> I beg, big go. <laughs> Baba, I beg, I beg. <laughs> so, okay, Rotomas. Yes, sir. Let me let me give him. Okay. Snakes on the ceiling. Hello? Yes, sir. Snake on the ceiling. If it is the low ceiling, the low roof, or the short roof, all we need to do is cause somebody to remove just a split. Then use your motorized machine. Buy your, any of the organic phosphate we do, on 30 ml to one liter. That's the ratio. Yes, Calibrate your machine, send the nozzle. You will see the snake coming out. It will come out immediately. It cannot stay for one minute there. When you have the result, come and tell me. Thank you very much. There are so many other, there are so many other methods, but when you come in October, you will hear it. I'll be there in October. God bless you. God and bless you. I'm paying my money, I'm paying my money tonight. <laughs> God bless you, my brother. <laughs> then you I'm become a family of the institute. Yes, you sir. An automatic family of the institute. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. Do we have, we have questions? Do we have questions? Um, okay. Okay. Without uh, repeating myself over and over once again, thanks everyone, most especially Baba. Uh, for no, before you go, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please thank my president for me. 
Yeah. 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 My president, please thank you. In fact, I don't know if you were there. Help me to appreciate, appreciate him more. Yes, I, I can't. <laughs> you know, he's a, he's a father. In so far, he's why you are the guy. In so far, I, think, I don't know whether I think he's there or not. Uh, no. Uh, I, I did inform him. If I have informed him, I'm sure he would have also find time okay. to be here. So I was okay. very happy when I saw Dr. Awunuga. I know he's a very busy person. and um, But because of his passion for also seeing younger people grow, uh, which he has demonstrated mm -hmm. in the past, the love for younger people, I, I, I know how far I've always been I around him, you know, and all that. So I, I see this as a great one, as a great support, it's not just him, so many other senior colleagues that are here tonight. Thank you so much. Not just that alone, for also even um, sponsoring uh, someone for the training. It's a, it's a big one. It's a big one. I That's a good one. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your presence and for the, uh, for the sponsorship, you know. We really appreciate. I always know when to, you know, the gas office is just beside me here, so I know always how to dash into his office in Nagigi. And anytime I go to his office, he always makes sure that I hit. I will say, oh God, I just came here. No, he said he should go and buy food. <laughs> and I will sit down. Last time I, I heard, and you know, before I left, the two times I said, no, no, you must eat before you leave my office. And I will sit down with him. It's always a pleasure to always be around him. And he has been a very wonderful uh, father also. And I'm not surprised because uh, they said, um, 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 you understand? So I'm sure Bunny. all those that are ahead of us, that are direct children, they just took after you. So I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not too surprised. Yeah, so thank you so much, Dr. Oluga. Thank you once again. Uh, for those that have asked for the contact of Pest Shop, let me quickly drop that. Uh, for some of us that are making um, inquiry, what's the YouTube channel for the recording session? The YouTube channel is at Rotimax Limited. And for some of us that have had good testimony about premise tonight, and we want to uh, want to make inquiry or buy, uh, I will drop the contacts now so that we can reach out to Mr. Ayodeji. Or maybe you also have something to quickly say. Let me give you the floor so to, to chip in one or two things about uh, or your university and, 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 uh, and only Nicolas. And only Nicolas. Yes, it's important. Yes, yes, yes. 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 God bless you, my dear. Thank you, sir. Thank you for always being there, for, for cheering us off and helping us to get better and improve every day. We are grateful, sir, for the opportunity. And to Rotimans, thank you for the platform, for the great effort, and for putting this together, you know. I'm glad that I'm able to participate, you know. We learn new things every day, and I'm glad that I've learned a lot again tonight. Thank you so very much. So for people asking for premise, you can just give me a call. 090-999-07382 or 070-328-96271. Pet shop, we, you can get premise in Ogudu, you can get it in Lekki, you can get it in Abuja, and it can be sent to any of your location. You know, it's a, it's a very fantastic product for termites, and you are just going to like it. You know, for termites specifically, you know, premise is made for subterranean termites, in fact. Though not made for B2, just like that you said. So... Thank you so very much, Steam Rotimers, for the opportunity. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. I'm grateful. Thank you, Daddy. Salut, sir. Salut. You're sir. Thank God, you. bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All right. So, till next week, Sunday, by God's grace, when we'll be with uh, PCU Darius, I want to say thank you. Thank you. And I pray that this week, this week, just one prayer, inspired by the word of my father which is when it is time for me to go hungry, God will send snake to the house of somebody. So I pray. <laughs> I, I, pray I pray for all the pest controllers here tonight listening that this week, mosquitoes, cockroach will invade locations that will bring money to your bank account. <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs>
If, <laughs> if you want to tap into that, please let me hear. Amen. Either by typing amen, 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 amen on the chat. Amen. Or by saying amen. Ah, amen. Somebody said amen. 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 Yes, ah, that's the wonderful mother. So she she say she has been in uh in fact, a very good help me to greet Madam yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes. yes. Mama yes. Yeah, yeah, they are, they are yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so Mama much. Mama from America. Welcome, yeah. America. <laughs> the fact is that uh bless you. God bless we are, you. We are waging a war that can never end against pest. The war against pest is, is mm -hmm. for eternity. Uh, yes, uh, some of some people started this year, this back some years back. They didn't win the war. We just keep trying different approach mm -hmm. and uh, we keep suppressing, but we cannot finish that war. That's Another true. generation is coming behind to continue from where we're going to stop it. You know, but like I said, we need the invasion and infestation to continue to smile to the bank and all that. So the invasion, trust me, for some of us that came to that prayer. You're going to share the testimony. But when the money comes, please don't forget to send your tithe. Thank you. And have, <laughs> <laughs> have a lovely week. Thank you for every. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week, Sunday. God bless you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, everybody. Uh, it's like God bless you. Yes, yes. Thank you, Fumiga Clean. God bless you. Thank you so much. Good night. Fumiga Clean. Thank you. Yes, yes. All right.